uh, one of our audience here. Mm-hmm. The the question is, how would the content in the world of science to enrich student or kids understanding of the science around them? Oh, okay, so the world of science comics presents Singapore's primary school's uh, rich science syllabus and Cambridge's um, science syllabus through interesting comics and fun augmented reality features. Um, so the world of science comic series first five books explore topics like aquatic creatures, uh, one is on birds, insects, the human body, uh, plants and fungi. So. While enjoying the comics, children are able to manipulate 3D models of selected topics. Then they also can watch related informative videos. Um, you will hear actual sounds of the animals, and then you can also participate in quizzes to reinforce learning. The second question is, uh, wait, how does the AR function bring the content to life? How do you design it or choose to do it? Mm-hmm. Um, so through augmented reality, children can get like an interactive and immersive experience of the comics or books that you're reading. Uh, so there are a lot of different functions of augmented reality. Um, so as we've gone through 3D models, videos, quizzes. Um, so with all these functions, you're able to visualize the, the content and interact with it more. Uh, so for example, if you're reading about the human body, uh, it can appear in 3D format and the readers are able to manipulate the image, uh, like zoom in on it, like zoom in on the heart, like, you know, and you hear like a voiceover about it, and then you can explore the different dimensions of the 3D image. Okay, and there's one more. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are these books designed to inter- interest kids in order to make them want to read and learn more? Oh, we want to keep the kids intrigued about the world and to be curious and ask questions. Uh, through these stories and through the augmented reality components. I hope that for um, these kids, like the augmented reality components are all like, it's quite a new thing, Um, but I hope it makes them more interested um, and all the further reading makes them want to, like besides what's in the books themselves to go out and read about it. Um, So I hope like this, the books create like a lasting memory, an impression of the topics so that they can go out further and do more research on their own. Uh, There's a question uh, from one sir. How to make a question that traps the reader to find the answer by thinking and remembering, not in the form of a question that has a definite answer? So... I think, well, we don't, um, it's not really about making a question specifically because um, I think we just want to let the children, um, for example, you read on, you read about jellyfish in the comics. Um, So we just want that to capture their, their imagination and like given all the the facts and the stories on the jellyfish in the books we want them to remember these like stories because they're told through like a really fun um and like visually interesting way so we hope that they read the book um and then they go on later and they they are it sparked their curiosity and they want to learn more about it and they'll go and do it themselves. They'll go ask questions. Um, they'll be more interested in science. We hope that if, you know, you read the book about birds and then if the children later on see like a specific kind of bird in the, like just outside in the park, um, they'll be more interested and they'll remember it. Um, they'll ask their parents about it, ask teachers about it. 